Hey Instagram, how are you? Happy Monday. I hope that you're having um, an amazing start to, to your week. Um, I like to say hello, um, but I actually have something to talk to you about today. So whether you know you're you're joining me live or if you see this later, um, you know, it's been a while since um, you know I shared some just business stuff. So today what I want to talk to you about is lead generation. Um, and this is a question that I think, um, you know, every entrepreneur, um, is, is always thinking about like, how can I find new leads? How can I find, you know, um, new clients, new people for my products? How do, you know, how can I fill my, my events? Um, so I want to talk about two really, really important ways, um, really important and effective ways to generate leads for, you know, that particular offer, um, or for the event. So I feel like I have to start off by saying like, let's talk about events first because events are so significant for, for lead generation for sure. And for offering value to, to your prospective clients, um, your prospective leads. Um, hey, Ms. Kaz and King Marvino, nice to see you. And Faces by Del Rio, um, hi. So today, just to catch you up, um, what I'm talking about is lead generation. So let me ask you a question. Feel free to type in the chat box. Um, do you feel like you have effective ways of generating new leads? Um, hey, Maddie Mendez, nice to see you. Um, yeah, so type in the chat box and let me know. Do you feel like you know exactly what you're doing in terms of generating leads whenever you, you need them, whenever you want them? If you have, um, you know, a if you're launching something, if you're, you know, in the middle of promoting a product or a service. Hey, Tracy Epson. Hi, nice to see you. Um, so this conversation is, is really important because if right now you're trying to figure out how to find leads, um, then I'm happy that you're on. So I'm going to share with you two really simple and really effective ways to generate leads. Um, uh, Faces by Del Rio says somewhat sometimes. So explain to me what that means. What, what do you mean by that? Um, so having, having um, lead generating strategies is super critical because, you know, um, without having actual ways to do it, then you know you're kind of at the at, at the mercy of working or having a business that only works when you know people decide that they want to work with you. So it re really requires reach out. Um, how do I say that? Ilamtir. Hi, how are you? I hope I didn't totally butcher your name. Um, but this is this is a challenge that you know many women entrepreneurs um, entrepreneurs in general experience which is you know how do I find leads how do I grow my business uh, faces by Del Rio says I have the ideas and put them out there but no bites so when you say I have the ideas and put them out there how are you putting them out there because um, that's really important too Tracy Upson says for bridal I use the knot however I don't have a lot of organic leads except via word of mouth so with the knot Tracy Upson, is it, are you paying for an ad? Um, and if you are, um, are those, is that ad, how much are you paying for an ad and, and how much is that converting to an actual sales? Um, because that could be, you know, if, if you have um, a lead generator, you know, like if the knot is working for you and you're getting leads per month, that's fantastic. Then the next question is, you know, are those converting into sales? Because if you have a really good lead generator, but not able to convert into the sales, um, then that's a different, that's a different kind of um, topic. That's more having an enrollment process. Um, oh, Faces by Delia says, like Tracy. I don't know who Tracy is. I use, I use the Facebook ads. So yeah, okay, so Facebook ads is, is really, Oh, this Tracy. <laughs> um, yeah, so when you're doing something like Facebook ads, I have to say, like, you know, I, I, I run some traffic every once in a while, not that often. Um, but when you're doing something like Facebook ads, I would highly recommend that you invest in someone who actually knows how to, to run your traffic. Because if you are just, 
you know, un under the assumption that you can create your own ad and, 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 and know how to do it. I can tell you that the algorithms change all the time, but the name of the game, you know, nowadays is segmentation, meaning that your message has to be specific to different segments of your audience. And if you're not segmenting, then that's absolutely going to impact your ads and there's split testing. So, you know, when you're doing Facebook ads, there's certainly a period, um, you know, in the beginning where it's like, you're going to be at a loss because you got to get clear on the message and, um, you know, continue to fine tune it. So it's a bigger conversation. And, you know, typically what you want to do is you want to have a strategy and you want to have someone who, can, who really is well versed in it or else, you know, you might as well take that money, put it in an envelope, mail it to Sonia Rodriguez in Studio City, California. I'll happily take it because you're, you're giving it away anyway. Um, so uh, Tracy says, yes, I pay for space, about one third of the bride's book. Okay, great. So Tracy, are you happy with your lead generation and, con and conversion rates? Because it sounds like what you're doing is great and it's working. Um, so I, I will, as Tracy's answering, I, I'm going to just talk a little bit about two lead generators that you have right in front of you. So the first one is like the most super, super organic way. It's your Rolodex. It's the people that are already in your network. So if you were to look, you know, at your contacts, how many people are in your contacts? Um, and if you're someone who, you know, at this point has not been, you know, keeping track of past clients, like previous clients, are the best lead generators because they've worked with you, right? They're hopefully they're happy with what you've done. Um, so there might be another opportunity for them, but they also, you know, do you know someone? They can be great referrals because you know they've gone through it and, and they can speak from a place of, um, you know, integrity. And you can create something like an affiliate for that. So let's say if if a previous client, you know brings a lead and then that that referral turns into an actual sale like you can incentivize your you know, your previous client you can give them an affiliate commission or you know in, in whatever way you you want to do it but you know previous clients are absolutely a great lead generator and so is your actual rolodex um you know so it, it it's critical to do the uncomfortable thing of actually reaching out to to your previous clients and checking in with them how are things now um it's super super important and i'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna go back to see what tracy epson says but I'm, i have a story to share about why this is so important so tracy says so far i just like to attract brides who won't bellyache about pricing i agree with you about utilizing previous clients yeah well Belly aching about pricing is telling me that what you need is you also need a better way of enrollment so um, what they haven't seen yet is the value if you're having a lot of that conversation. So Tracy, for someone like you, my recommendation would be have a live event. And instead of enrolling um, women, brides into an offer right on the phone, I would bring them into a room and allow them to see, you know, what it is that you do, create a comp compelling presentation and, you know, provide a pitch and then re-pitch it. There's a whole way to do this. Um, but it's it's much much different if, if your assumption is let me get people on the phone and then let me pitch a high-level offer um, what you have to understand is that you have to make it super clear for people to see the value and that they have to assess they have to feel like this is worth it that is a challenging thing to do when you're doing it on the phone I'm not sure if your focus is high-level sales and high value that's what I specialize in so I kind of naturally go to that direction but it's telling me that if you're having that challenge happening, then you need another step in there. You need a way for people to show value. And if they don't know you from anybody, you know, if they're coming to you from, from the ad, um, yeah, they need a little bit of courting. So let's, can we all just agree? Um, hey, how do I say it? And Jin Lee and Jessica is on. Um, so can we just agree that moving forward, you know, in 2018, that we're going to take responsibility for ourselves as you know, women entrepreneurs and as 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 service providers, and you know, really, if, if if you're looking for clients, high level clients, like provide high value, provide high value. So what does that look like? Start having an event. Start offering. <laughs> start offering. Start doing more. It's it's significant. 
Um, I can't tell you how many you know women I speak to who who have this challenge of like my clients don't want to pay or you know I'm having trouble getting them. Yeah, but that means that what you're doing, it, you need to start upgrading it and in a strategic way, you know. Um, so I hope that that helps. Tracy, because it sounds like you're doing some really great things, but it also sounds like you're ready to grow. Um, and that's going to require adding some more steps, really starting to, you know, really bring the brand of your business to a new level where people can really understand why the value is there. Um, so if you're leaving with one thing, I hope that that one thing from this conversation is the understanding that if I want you know, a different type of client and a different type of business is gonna require me showing up, doing more, stretching myself so that they can meet me at this new level. And no longer is it on the shoulders of our potential clients. Thanks you guys for the hearts. Um, no longer is it on the, the shoulders of our potential clients to automatically just come to the realization that we're worth what we're worth or that our services are worth what, let's show them. Let's show them why, okay? So really court them. Um, Tracy, Tracy Upson says, absolutely. Thank you. That's exactly where I'm at. Yeah. So it, it sounds to me like, you know, this, this would be a great time for you, Tracy, to start thinking bigger of like, how, how can you do this? Um, Faces by Del Real says I offer, I offer with a free gift, but then if they, they feel that 85 is too high. So that process is not, it's not working Faces Del Rio and you're going to have to try something else. I would also recommend the same thing of hosting live events. And you don't have to always just give free gifts. You can give free value, free education, free information. Um, so a perfect example is um, a few weeks ago, I did I did a complimentary masterclass called Even Better in 2018. And I had on you know some, some experts as well as myself. I had a marketing expert and I had a network chiropractor and we were talking about limiting beliefs and breaking patterns and then how this affects you know, decisions made in life and in business. Um, but that was, you know, the free value that I was inviting, you know, people to, to get a taste of because I was also announcing my event um, even better in 2018, which is actually in a couple of weeks. It's on um, Sunday, February 25th in New York City. Um, and I do want to say I actually have one more ticket left. So, you know, if you're watching now or later and you're interested, the investment is 555, but here's the sexy part. You can bring a fellow woman entrepreneur for a complimentary seat. So that basically means you guys can split the ticket. It comes to $277.50, um, you know, and it's like super approachable for you to come and to learn. Um, but that basically that masterclass, um, oh, you know what, let me also, before I, I move on, let me put in the, in the comments, I'll put the link. So check out the, um, Check out the event if you're if you're interested and you'd like to get some some coaching some support, you know, with your offers and um, creating your value ladder um, from myself and from my team because we're going to be in the room and we're going to be helping everyone do it. But anyway, um, so the idea is this: I, I did that masterclass because I was going to be announcing this event, and the masterclass was a way to court you know people to show them value. Like, this is why you would wanna be in the room. This is what we're going to be covering. So for me to just say, hey, I'm gonna have an event, you know, at this point, yes, there would be people who would sign up for it, but it, it, it realistically, like I, I was looking for 20 people. And in order for me to assume that 20 people would be like, oh my God, yes, I definitely wanna come. It's not realistic, you know, even though I've been doing this for a while. So does that make sense? Please type in the chat box and say, I get it. It really doesn't matter like the size of your business or how successful you know you think someone else is or that you, there's certain things that you don't have to do at a certain point it's not true like it still holds water you still have to provide value for your clients and once their clients like continue to provide value cont continue to court them that's super super important so it was a complimentary masterclass because whoever wants to come gets to see what's happening um, you know so I have people in the room who I've never met before but I also have people who have coached with me in the past and are coming back for more so you know for, for that reason I use that that masterclass in a very very strategic way but here's another thing I didn't just stop there I got my butt on the phone and I I called I I made over a hundred phone calls, literally got on the phone and made over a hundred phone calls 
you know, checking in with previous clients, checking in with prospective leads who had reached out to me in, in, in previous times, interested in working with me. Like it actually means, you know, it, the webinar isn't enough. Like, so this is what I'm saying, you guys, your, your, not, your network, your Rolodex, you already have people to speak to and you're missing a tremendous opportunity if you're not picking up the phone and first of all, checking in with previous clients. Because if they worked with you in the past, you know, and they were happy, <laughs> hopefully they were happy, you know, it, it's a wonderful, hey, just call and check in. I, I, I had the, the, the amazing pleasure of speaking to so many members of the Beauty Mastermind um, this weekend and just hearing some amazing results, amazing things that they're now doing with their business where when we first started working together, it wasn't even something that they could imagine. So it was such a gift because, um, you know, just to hear, you know, and, and I had so many people say to me, like, thank you that, you know, this, this investment, this time with you was worth, you know, the time it was worth the money. Like it really, you know, and it, it meant so much to me to know that it really helped them. But I, I, I was so taken aback by, you know, how dramatically people had grown. So there were certain people when I spoke to them, it naturally felt like, hey, you know, it would be great if you came to this event because you're working on this particular thing and this is how this event could help you. Um, and without having that conversation, they might have not known about the event for some reason, like things happen, maybe they didn't think it was a fit for them. But the thing was, it was worth it to have the, the conversation to pick up the phone. So do me a favor, type in the chat box and let me know if you get this too and you understand why getting on the phone and speaking to previous clients is super important. Okay, circle back, call them check-in sessions. I literally was calling on my clients and saying, how are things? How are you doing? You know, and, and for most people, like they were in a really great place and, and we just had a great checkup, but there were some people who needed help and they were ready for something new. So, you know, it, I'm super excited that they're gonna be at my event and that they're gonna get tremendous value from it. So. Um, this is a really, really important lead generation tool. Pick up the phone and communicate with your already existing audience. Um, hey, Jay Donnell, nice to see you. And Tim Nicholson, my best friend, nice to see you. Um, so that's strategy number one. Strategy number two for generating leads, super, super, uh, super easy. Hey, Jennifer Ellis. Um, the second, the second um, way to do it is literally to do what I'm doing now. Get your booty on a Facebook Live, an Instagram Live, because it is such a great way to, de to deliver value instantly, um, organically, and it, it really, I have to say that, you know, these days doing lives is, is really super compelling. Um, so let me give you some ground rules for how to do your lives. So the first thing you want to do is you want to be on for at least 10 minutes. And why? Ba mainly because it takes time, you know, for people to kind of get on. Um, you know, so it's it's good to be on for at least 10 minutes. Um, definitely if you're doing it on, um, Jennifer Ellis says, love you, Sonia, keep crushing it. Hashtag leadership. Oh, thank you so much, Jennifer. It, it's been so wonderful to, to reconnect with you and to just see you around um, so much lately. Thank you so much. I'm, I'm looking forward to like, you know, seeing you in person one day. It'd be really, really great. Um, and then also, please let me know if I can ever support you and your tribe in any way. I'm happy to do it. Um, Smurf, Smurf, T, Smurf Harris is on. Hi, 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 hi. Uh, Tracy Upson says, yep, my attention span fades on some people's lives. Ha ha. Uh, yes, and Sarah Gibbs is on as well. Okay, so yeah, let me finish telling you about how to use a Facebook Live or an Instagram Live for generating leads. So um, you want to be on for at least 10 minutes and Tracy Upson says that yeah, her attention span fades on some people's lives. And that's a really, really important point. So when you're doing lives, you want to make sure that they're interesting. Like, so have something to say. <laughs> Have something to say and um, have something compelling to say. You know, it, it's not just enough to to get on and talk about something. Talk about something where there's an intention for it, um, and be engaging. You know, be fun to watch. Now, I will tell you, I don't think that this is the most exciting live right now. But honestly, I don't care because um, 
what's most important is that I'm giving you information that is really can really help if you use it. So um, I do think I'm engaging and I do think I'm entertaining to watch um, because I have personality, you know, and um, I like doing this stuff, you know, but when I first started doing it, it took me a while to kind of figure out what my voice was and what was I, what was I going to say. But my style of doing lives is, is very much like, let me just have a conversation like if you're here, you know, in um, in my office with me or if we're on a coaching call, um, because that's who I am. You know, I, I like it to feel super approachable. Thank you. Tracy Upson says that I am interesting. Um, but, you know, that's kind of like what feels good for me. I want it to feel real. I want it to feel super connected. I don't like things that are super, super produced. I like things that are pretty authentic. So usually when I shoot videos for like my sales pages, like let's say if I'm gonna have a master class and I, and I do a little video describing what I'm gonna be talking, usually at some point I'll stumble through my words and I'm the kind of person I'll keep that in because I like that it feels like I'm just talking because I just am. Um, so I don't like perfection, you know, with stuff like that. I like it just a little bit off because it feels more real. You know, and when I connect with people and when I hear other people's messages, I always, for me, I resonate more with people who are authentic as opposed to super, super polished because I like real. Um, so it's, it, that's a really important part of like the way that I like to message is, is for people to know, like, you know, you, you know, there's, there's a couple of little cracks in, in, in the wall, but the wall is solid, you know, and that's kind of how I, I see myself. I don't like to no longer do I like to um, subscribe to perfection because it's just not possible. And I want you to know that I'm just like you. Like I totally mess up too. And um, you know, I'm doing the best I can every single day. So that for me is most important. So when you start doing your lives, if you haven't already, like think about that, you know, what's the message you want to offer? How, how do you want to connect with those that are joining you? Um, you know, for me, it's like, I, I just want you to know, like, hey, I'm here. I love listening to you. I love offering support. But your, your, your messaging and your brand might be different. So decide what that's going to be like. Um, so the rules are for any Facebook Lives or IG Lives is you want to be on for at least 10 minutes. Give people time to see you. Um, if you're doing an IG Live, we, you now have the option to save it, right? It can be in your story for 24 hours. So do that. Um, don't be boring, right? Be engaging. Um, and then also super, super important, have a call to action. Give people something to do. Um, yay. Tra uh, Faces by Del Rio says, great. Um, are you guys having a good time? Is this informative? Like has, has your 10 minutes been worth it here? Um, are you learning something new? And if you've learned something new, do me a favor, type in the chat box. Let me know what's an aha that you're getting from this conversation. Um, I also want to know what your action step is going to be from this conversation because I think it's so good to learn stuff, but hey, implement it. So if you've never done a live, maybe this is the week where you start to, right? And start to figure out what you're going to say, but just do it, try it. Um, and the last step, as I said, is the call to action. So because I like to follow my rules, I have the call to action for you. So my call to action is um, that I have, as I said before, I have literally two more spaces at my even better in 2018 event um, on Sunday, February 25th in New York City. Um, so I am going to tell you about my event. Um, Jennifer, Ellis says, Jennifer Ellis says that her action step is going to be scheduled live on IG. Yes, I love it. Um, I, I, let me know when I'd love to, I'd love to hear it and see it and support you. Um, Faces Del Rio says, uh, a live on IG as well. Yeah. And let me just say IG is such a great platform. Um, you know, it, things are really, you know, kind of hopping on, on IG. So it's a great place to be. Um, but let me tell you a little bit about this event. Um, okay. So literally I have two spaces left and what that means is I have, uh, a space for two more people which means I have one ticket because it's a buy one ticket and bring a fellow entrepreneur for free. So let me tell you a little bit about this event. It is going to be a full day. You guys, I am so excited. Um, I haven't been um, to New York teaching a class like this since September. Um, and usually I'm back every like three months. So I'm super excited. And the last 
um, training that I hosted was my Master Your Craft Boot Camp. So it, it, it involved makeup. This is, there's no makeup here. And I'm super excited about it. We're just getting super deep with business and life. So I'm hosting it at the lovely London Hotel in Midtown in the theater district. Um, you guys, this hotel is so beautiful. And it's so, it's one of my favorite places to host my events. I usually host my, my high level masterminds for my, for my prestige clients there because it is not only beautiful, but it's so feminine and, it, and it's, you know, in, in the center of the world. And there's just something about New York that, um, you know, you could do anything. You leave there feeling like I can do anything. So the London is one of my favorite places because it just, you know, that's where you deserve to be as women entrepreneurs is in these beautiful buildings, in these beautiful rooms, knowing that that's, that's your worth, nothing but the best. So um, I'm having the event there and um, no, seriously, I'm really excited about the room. It's so, so beautiful. But I've invited um, some special guests. I have uh, my dear friend, uh, Patty Dominguez, who is a master marketer and brander. She, she has helped for me for the last year, um, has been taking care of all of my online marketing stuff. Um, and that's why I invited her to take part in it because um, I, I have seen how, what our work together has done to elevate my brand. Um, so she's going to be in the room and she's going to be talking about value ladders and what your value ladder is, is basically in your organization of offers from smallest to highest. How do you start putting those types of, you know, strategies together so that when a client comes to you, let's say if they start with your smallest offer, they start to go up the ladder and that you have other offerings for them. So there's a, a way to do it. And that's what Patty's gonna talk about. And in the room, we're gonna be having brainstorming sessions, which means you can work on your value ladder and you're gonna have the support of Patty to help you along with it. That's not it. I'm also um, going to share with you how to put together an irresistible offer. So what are the components? How do you really make offers so sexy for your clients where they just have to say yes because it's so good? Um, you know, and I believe in high value and high ticket. So, um, I think that there's, there's an art and a science to doing that because just because you make something expensive doesn't mean that the value is there and it has to be crystal clear for the right person, for the right buyer, that this is the offer for them. There's a way to do it. So I'm going to talk about that, how you do that. And then we're going to have a brainstorming in this brainstorming session in the room where you can work on your offers. And obviously I'm there supporting you. I've also invited my good friend, Dr. Renee. Dr. Renee is amazing. All I can say to you is that she is a wizard. Um, I met Dr. Renee, um, I've had the good fortune of going to a couple of her retreats and what she brings to the table is something, I said to her, I'm like, you have to come because she is going to be talking about the invisible patterns that keep you stuck. So if you've ever said anything like, why do things seem to work out for other people, but they're not working out for me, um, you know, what are people going to think if I do this? What if I fail? Like th these are the conversations that we sometimes have with ourselves and without realizing that they're locked, patterns that are locked in, we're in loops. And why this, con this information is so important is because when you don't know this stuff, you don't know that that's a pattern, you can't break out of it. And if you can't break out of it, how will you take the leap? How will you take the next step in your business if you're worried, what if I fail? Or what are people going to think? Like there's a way to put that aside because those patterns are actually locked in your body. So she's gonna talk about that. Um, and she's also going to be facilitating in the room to help unlock some of those patterns. So it's jam packed. The three of us are gonna be there supporting you. Um, yeah, Tracy Upson says, yes, we have to break those untruthful, yeah, and you have to know, but here's the thing, Tracy Upson, and hey guys, I'm seeing, um, you know, some of, some great new people coming on, uh, Nira Chanel, hi, and uh, meet Brittany D, who's coming, Brittany, I'm so excited to meet you, uh, Brittany D is coming to the Even Better in 2018 experience, um, Kamisha, uh, how do, Kamisha River Shunter, hi, um, Faces Del Real says, uh, great gem, Sonia. Well, thank you. I'm glad that you think so because this all comes together beautifully. Like, you guys, it's so important to know that this is not just like, it's not necessarily having, you know, the best business strategies. It's not that. It's part of it. 
Like if you want to grow your business, having solid business strategy is super important. That's why I'm bringing in, you know, these powerhouses to help with this with this event, to give you everything, to give you the sales and the marketing all in one room. Um, thank you guys for the for the hearts. I, I, I appreciate you. I love you. Um, but but having Dr. Renee in the room is so important too, because a strategy is only as good as the person who implements it. So if you're still thinking to yourself, well, what are people going to think? Or I'm afraid, what if I fail? Or, you know, this is a, a common one. I don't have enough, I can't afford it. Like, these are patterns that will keep you stuck forever. And it doesn't matter how good your strategy is, it won't work because you'll never take action on it. So because I've experienced that in the past, I know what that's like. You know, as a woman entrepreneur, I know that my responsibility is to not only you know, grow my my knowledge of business for sure. Certainly, my my spiritual growth is super important too. Um, but it's also important to understand, you know, these these other elements. Like, you know, why is it that some people succeed and some people don't? I was so curious. I got into all of this because I was like, man, why am I so fucked up? Like, really, that's where it started. I was just looking for help for myself. But what happened was, the more I started going to retreats and working with people like Dr. Renee, not only was I able to break my own patterns, but I started to support my clients. I started to see the patterns that were holding them back. And this is what happened. The way that I communicate with them is so different. I'm such a different person than I was when I first you know, became a coach. I have more tools to support my clients. And it's there's nothing more devastating as a coach than to have clients or people who keep coming to me for information and are too afraid to take that first step. It's devastating to see because nothing will ever help you. Nothing. There's not a free training, there's not a coach, there's nothing unless you are brave enough to take that step. But why can't some of us take that step? And I just became so fascinated with it because I, you know, as even though things really scare me, what I, I just leap into the fear, but not everybody moves that way, you know, and everybody has their own rhythm to stuff. So I became more fascinated with it. And I started to see how the results that someone gets in their life are directly related to their life strategies. So if you're someone who has been stuck with these ideas of like, man, what if I'm not good enough? You know, what if I, what if I fail or what if I succeed or what are people going to think? You know, what are people going to think if I say I'm going to just start my own business or whatever? Like those things, at a certain point, they have to just be put to the side, you know, and as easy as it may sound, I think we all know that sometimes it's the, the most challenging thing to do. You know, I, I will say this. So many people come to me saying, oh my God, I would really love a coach. It'd be great. I know that things would be different. But the thing is this, it's, you know, what I was saying before, it's not just the strategy. It's the strategy is only as good as the person who implements it, um, which is why, you know, I, I have strategies that have yielded me and my clients amazing results. And then for others, not so much, you know, the strategies work, all strategies work. It's how you work them. Will you work them? Especially when you're super uncomfortable and you're feeling stretched and all of those things, that's part of it. So working with a coach is not just, let me get the information and do it. It's the coaching happens in those moments of discomfort. So when people say to me, oh my God, I would love to work with a coach. Like the truth is that the support that you need is in those moments when you wanna back off, when you start to get pissed off, when you start to become afraid, it's not the strategy. It's all of those stories. So as coaches, that's what we do. We work with that and we give you the strategy, of course, but the real work comes in those moments. Faces by Del Rio says, okay, they come to you for information. Always asking what product, what they should use. I'm open to answer, but they keep coming and asking. Well, I, I don't know what your business model is. I don't know if you're an educator or, or whatever, but it's telling me that what would really help is to have clear systems, clear programs, clear offers, so that you understand when you're giving people, how you're giving people information, and then also having opportunities to provide free value so that like, What's, what's sounding to me, Faces by Del Rio, that's missing for you is you don't have a value ladder um, because you wouldn't have that problem. If you're feeling like people are just coming to you, they keep coming and they asking, I, I think my assumption is that the end of that sentence is but they're not buying, then that's telling me that you don't yet have a system 
to walk them through so that they understand here's the free value here's the next offer like you know it's all on you it's not on them they're gonna keep asking you know if you're opening the door in that way so it's super important to, to kind of figure these these things out okay I hope that that helps um, international beauty just joined the beauty therapist is on um, hi guys um, and I I hate to do this I do have to hop off um, because I have a I have a call coming up but um, if you've missed any part of this I'm gonna put it in the in the stories and um, you can watch it but I do want to leave you with my call to action as I said literally one ticket left for my event even better in 2018 it is on Sunday February 25th, New York City at the London Hotel. It's going to be a full day. We're starting at 9 a.m. and we're gonna to go to about seven. And we have 18 powerhouse women entrepreneurs that are gonna be at this event and I'm literally looking for my final two. As soon as I have the final two, the doors are closed. Um, I have my amazing team. We're going to be starting from you know, busting these patterns, these invisible patterns that are keeping you stuck. We're gonna teach you how to create these value ladders as well as your irresistible offer so that you leave there with everything that you need, more empowered, understanding how to better serve your clients. I have one ticket left. It is purchase one ticket and you can bring a fellow woman entrepreneur for free. So it's super sexy if you decide to to, to share the ticket with you know, your fellow entrepreneur, it's $277.50, super, super approachable for a jam-packed day. Um, I'm gonna put in my comments again the, the link um, for you to check out the event. It's also in my, um, in my, uh, my profile. Yeah, the link is in my profile, so you can read everything that we're gonna be doing there. I'm super, super excited, you guys. Like, And for those of you who have who have signed on, like I, I see Skindex Studios is on, um, so that's Glenny, I believe, right? Um, and I have D, DS, oh, D Snyder Drums, hey. Uh, Juliana Fink, hey, Juliana. Um, Jen Gunner MUA is on, nice to see you guys. But there's a few of you that are on now that are gonna be attending this event, and I, I just wanna thank you for coming. I'm super, super excited. Let me just give a major shout out to Skindex Studios who, who just signed on this weekend. Um, I, I'm, I'm beyond excited. I think I'm a little partial because Skindex Studios lives in Freehold, New Jersey, which is, you know, where I, I grew up. I went to high school there. Um, you know, so it's like, I, I know it. Um, and I, I'm super excited that, you know, you took the leap and that you're coming. But we have, as I said, we have 18 amazing women entrepreneurs. So this is a community like-minded women, different areas of beauty, and not everybody that's in the room is even in beauty. Um, but we have a really, really awesome, awesome group. So I can't wait to find out who are these final two ladies who are going to be at this event. Um, but I'm looking forward to seeing everyone, um, you know, in a couple of weeks. I, I'm really looking forward to going back to New York, although I'm not looking forward to the weather. Let me just say that, because um, I'm still wearing shorts here. But with that being said, um, you guys, it's been amazing chatting with you guys today. Hey, Decora, if you missed any part of this, I'm gonna leave this on my story. What we covered today was the two, two, um, the two best ways, in my opinion, to generate leads. Super easy, it doesn't cost you not even a penny. There's no investment in an ad or anything like that. So if you missed any part of this, you wanna make sure that you watch it so you hear that the two ways that you can generate leads right now that won't cost you a dime and are super super effective so with that being said i love you guys thank you so much for being on hi ebony oh my god i'm just hopping off but do me a favor i'm, I'm gonna have the the video for you to watch okay i'm gonna keep it on the stories I'm t i today i talked about the two effective ways to generate leads and won't cost you a penny both of them are free um and they're literally right in front of you Okay, so make sure that you're you're watching this um, and you get all of that. Ebony, I totally I miss you. I miss your face. I was actually just watching some footage of um, the boot camp that you were at. So um, I feel like I just spent some time with you this weekend, but it's so wonderful to, to, to see you on. Um, and hopefully I get to see you soon. Um, so with that, you guys, have a wonderful rest of the week. I will come up with some other things to say on these lives. Um, but again, if you're just hopping on, uh, make sure that you watch it from the beginning so you can learn the two ways to generate leads um, that are literally right in front of the right in front of your face. Okay, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.